Hey everybody, this is Carl Elwine at Elwine Engines. Today I'm going to do a quick video. I'm going to show you the camshaft bearings, how to install them. Three things, basically how to know which position these go in, you know, one, two, three, four, or five. And I'm going to show you how to align the oil holes as per the factory manual. And I'm going to show you how to hammer them in with the tool, the simple camshaft bearing installation tool right here. All right, after the break. Okay, in the camshaft bearing box, they'll always have an indication on which bearing goes where. Each one has a unique um, identifier. So there's basically three different sizes. There's the size one, two, and three. Goes in position one, or two and five, or three and four. So if you wanna know, you just grab one at random from the box. This one is a CHP 4-2. This bearing will only go in wherever 4-2 says it goes. It'll go in the two position or the five position. So this bearing will either go in this position or the five position. The next one here, it says it's a 4-3. That'll go in the three or the four position. Of course, there'll be two of those, right? Let's see, here's a 4-3. This one here is a 4-2. That'll go in the 2 or the 5 position. And this one is a 4-1. That'll go in the 1 position. Okay, the oil holes, where do they go? Let's start from the rear, because I'm going to put the rear oil, uh, the, the rear camshaft bearing in. Let's start from the rear. The factory manual says this oil hole goes, well, the block is upside down, right? So let's talk clock position. If the block were right side up, the oil hole it will be at the 12 o'clock position. Installing it in a, with a block upside down, of course, it'll be down at the six o'clock position. So anyway, I mark it first. So I'll be able to see that when I'm putting it in. The middle ones, all point to the oil filter. So this oil hole will go in and I guess you could call it uh, five o'clock. But all I do is I, I think, just point to the oil filter. So I mark it here. And I mark it here. When it goes in, it'll point to the oil filter. And the next middle one, mark it here. All right, now the front one. Factory L21 manual it says put it at one and five o'clock. That is if you're looking at the front of the motor and the motor straight up and down. All right, I took this off, this will go down here, okay. This will be here. This will be the guide where it straightens it out right there. And this is what I'll do the hammering on. Lube it a little bit with this lube. So this gets put in here. Notice my mark, which is, which will position this at, if the engine was straight up and down, it would position it at 12 o'clock. Right now it's at six o'clock. Gotta cover yours now because 
we're just going to hammer this until it gets until it's flush with the back of this so hopefully the camera won't be shaking too much See if the oil hole is lined up with uh, it's like the little groove for the oil passage. That'll work, but I like to get a thin Allen wrench and stick it in there. And if it doesn't go down, it like this one. This needs to go just a little bit further. Because this Allen wrench hits the ridge of the sh of the um, slot. This actually has to get one more hit. What, the ones that are blind inside, you know, two, three, and four, you can't really look in there. So the Allen wrench is a excellent tool for knowing that you've got it lined up right. Basically, this is flush right here. All right, Allen wrench. Allen wrench. Much better. All right. If it was, this will help me. I'm just gonna point that straight up and then the oil hole will be pointing that way. All right, now here, as soon as you don't see the shiny bearing, stop. I still see a little bit of it, so I'm going to give it a little tap. All right. How do you know it's lined up? The Allen wrench. So. Oh, yes. Next one, that one went in nice. Still got a little bit of lube on here. Slides right in nicely. Try the second position. Keep the cart from rolling. Okay, for the front one, you have to change the tool around. This has to be in this position so you can hammer it here. And then the, the steady part goes in here. So you just put it at the rear cam. Slider in and it steadies, keeps it aligned. So, straight up, one and three. All right. So the alignment, 
bushing is in there. So that's my straight up and down mark. Ready to hammer. Plug, plug your ears. I don't have like a, a good sense on when to stop hitting. All right, so I'll just pull this out and use the Allen wrench. That is the perfect spot right there, okay. So, looks like I stopped right at this bevel. I'm gonna try to remember that. So, so this, I could still, actually no, I could not see the cam bearing anymore, okay. So let's take this out carefully. There you have it. Take the guide out. Cam bearing installed. All right, a quick summary. Oil holes, basically. Point them to the oil filter in two, three, and four. Just point them this way. Up at the front, one and five o'clock, the two holes if the engine was right side up. In the back, oil hole needs to be 12 o'clock if the engine was right side up. I'm pointing down. Just think of the oil galley is up there, so it needs to, that oil hole needs to be close to the oil galley. That's it in a nutshell. One, uh, oh, I don't know, subtlety I want to mention. If you have the machine shop put your camshaft bearings in, the motor needs to be clean. They put the camshaft bearings in. If you got some more grinding to do after the bearings are in, some more cleaning to do, it's hard to make sure that all the debris is out from behind the camshaft bearings. So that's the last thing I do. Um, the motor needs to be fully ground, fully clean, and painted. When that is done, after the final cleaning, then the camshaft bearing go in. The, the camshaft bearings go in. Then it's final assembly. It's a real pain in the butt to have to do some more grinding because you, you haven't clearanced enough or something like that. You gotta pop the camshaft bearings in and put another set in. So keep that in mind. All right, so. Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines, take care. So, Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines, take care. You have to change the, uh, the tool. <laughs> the front one, you have to change the tool.